Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this example, we are going to look at solving rational equations. We do have to be careful for extraneous solutions. Let's take a look. So we have 4 over x minus 2 minus 1 over x plus 2 equals x squared over x squared minus 4x. Okay, so what's an extraneous solution? Well, that would be something that appears to be a solution, x equals 1 or x equals 7. However, for a rational equation, it would create a denominator of 0. So what would create a denominator of 0? This would be if we had x equals 2 or if we had x equals negative 2. So one way we might say this is, well, x isn't allowed to be 2 or negative 2. Okay, we're just going to check that at the end, otherwise we're going to ignore it going forward. The first thing that I like to do anytime I have fractions within an equation is I like to get rid of them immediately. We can do that in one way by getting all three of these terms to have the same denominator. Now here we have a factor of x minus 2, and here we have a factor of x plus 2, and here we have one of each. This is x minus 2 and x plus 2. Okay, perfect. So that difference of squares, the x squared minus 4, doesn't actually contribute anything new. We already had those two factors already. Now I'm just going to rewrite each term to have both factors. So this one has the x minus 2, but it's missing the x plus 2. And whatever I do to the denominator, I have to do to the numerator as well to keep it what it was, right? It was, it was given as 4 over x minus 2. I need to keep it that way by really just multiplying by 1. Here we're going to have x minus 2 and x minus 2. Okay, so mathematically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to multiply the entire equation by x minus 2 and x plus 2, which is going to cancel out all of the denominators. I said it out loud so that I don't have to actually write it down. What we're left with is all of these numerators. I have 4 times x plus 2 minus 1 times x minus 2, the 1 is optional, equals x squared. And now I'm going to clean up the left-hand side. We have 4x plus 8, distribute the minus 1, minus 1x plus 2, because it's a negative times a negative, equals x squared. I'll combine like terms, 3x, sorry, I said it, <laughs> 4x minus 1x is 3x, positive 8 and positive 2 make positive 10, and all of this equals x squared. I like that x squared is positive. Um, because this is a quadratic, because we do have that x squared, I want to set it equal to 0. But I'm going to keep x squared on the right. I'm going to move everything else to the right. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. And I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides, minus 3x, minus 10. And that's going to give us 0 equals x squared minus 3x minus 10. This quadratic you can either factor or you can do the quadratic formula. I like to see if it's factorable because that will be less work, especially because we can use the shortcut because the leading coefficient is 1. For this one, the target product is negative 10, and the target sum is negative 3. Two numbers that multiply to negative 10 and add up to negative 3 would be minus 5 and positive 2. We have a winning combination. I get to just plug those in using my fancy shortcut. This becomes x minus 5 times x plus 2. And now we apply the zero product property. The zero product property says if I have two things that are being multiplied and their product is zero, one of those things is zero. Let's find out. Here we have x minus 5 is equal to 0, in which case we have a solution of x equals 5. Here we have x plus 2 is equal to 0, in which case we have a solution of x equals negative 2. We have two possible solutions. We just want to make sure we don't have any contradictions. Remember at the very beginning we had those extraneous solutions. Uh-oh. We do have an extraneous solution. Up here I said, no, no, x can't be negative 2. And down here I'm saying, yes, yes, x is negative 2. Nope. The not wins. We reject that solution, and this problem has one solution, x equals 5. This has been an example of solving a rational equation. Thank you for stopping by.